Hi, I'm Ashley Adamson, and um, yeah, I hooked up with a cute girl last week, and yeah, I met her through Grindr. It's so easy to find trans girls on Grindr. It's great, and occasionally I run into you folks on Grindr as well, and it's nice to see you and say hello. <laughs> Um, I always get the, is that really you? And I'm like, yeah, it's me. Um, I don't know. I mean, I talk about Grinder enough that y'all should know Grinder's where it's at. <laughs> at least that's where my booty is. Um, but you know, I don't do the hookups as much, but I guess like in this instance I did because I like women and I like hooking up with women and I don't really see them as people that I think it would work with on a relationship level. So yeah, I, I, I do have this kind of interest in building a connection, building a relationship in a friendship kind of way with girls, um, like, like truly like friends with benefits. And I don't mean just like friends with benefits and it's literally you just text them, you have sex and that's it. No, like literally a friend and there are benefits to that relationship that are special. And I really like building these relationships with um, trans women because it's kind of like you have this bond of friendship and, and camaraderie and knowing each other, knowing some of their struggles because you're going through it too, and being able to support them and then not have the emotional baggage because you're not in a relationship, you're their friend but you can also find them attractive and be into them and, and hook up and have sex. Like, I think that's great. You know, it's like you hang out at home. You're like, what are you doing? Oh, I don't know. Well, let's have sex. <laughs> oh my God. Um, yeah. When I was in Portland, the last time I moved here, uh, like three years ago, I had a, a, I had a friend and we were together for like six to nine months. It was great. But I don't have that here, especially since I'm going to be leaving town on Thursday to Los Angeles and then off to Europe. And then I'll be going. You'll see more videos about that soon. But um, yeah, I mean, she was hot, super cute. And we talked. Uh, we went on a coffee date and it was great. We just she's smart. I like her. She's got a good head on her shoulders. I respect her. I admire some of the stuff she's done. And she's a top. I didn't know this, um, but it seems like the trans scene in Portland has kind of like a rotating cast of certain trans girls that like to top. And they've all, they're all like running the juice. They're all running testosterone, um, like, um, like a gel or like some androgenin gels that they rub down there to keep their uh, equipment working just like a regular um, penis. <laughs> it's like medical terms, like what am I even doing here? Um, and so, yeah, so the topping is like actually a thing. And I've been surprised because it's like the girl's dick fucking gets wet and it gets wet like a guy's dick does. My girl dick does not do that. <laughs> It's like, oh yeah, are you gonna get wet? No, all right, a, an hour later. Oh, okay, there, there it is. Good job. Um, but with this girl's dick, it was like ready to go, and um, it was surprising to kind of see that. Um, she's got a lot of top energy, and it was a little weird for me because I think I actually want to top girls now, and that's such a strange concept because. I, while I topped girls when I identified as a man, and I put that in quotes, I've never really, I've also just kind of been seeking to be the bottom in every relationship or a sexual thing, especially with men, um, but with women too. And now suddenly in this night that we hooked up and had like a sexy time, I was the bottom. But I feel like I could have been an aggressive top. And uh, I know that sounds weird for me to say that, but sometimes I just want to, uh, yeah, just kind of wreck, wreck cute girls 
a little bit with some pounding. <laughs> oh, this is getting hot, isn't it? Um, and so I, I just, I don't know. I, it's a weird thing to think about in your transition. And if you're transitioning, thinking about your sexuality and your sexuality, how it relates to where you are in life and what layers of the self you're dealing with, because sexuality in my book, how it looks, it's also about processing your unprocessed emotions and feelings and self. And sometimes it's actually about ignoring them and suppressing them and kind of pushing them out. But like for me, I haven't been able to control them. I mean, have you been able to control them? For me, it's like you, I, early in my transition, I wanted to be the woman. I wanted to be the bottom that was validating for me. And now that I've gotten to a place where, <coughs> excuse me, COVID, um, gotten to a place where I am comfortable in my femininity, in my womanhood, I've suddenly become comfortable with the idea of topping a woman, which just blows my mind because I would have never expected that. I mean, Coming into my transition, let's be fair, I never would expect that I would have dated men. And then suddenly I'm dating men and I'm ditching girls. And that happens for like two years. And now I'm on the fourth year and suddenly I'm like, eh, whew, I must be getting tired. It must be bedtime soon. Girls, I'm like, girls, 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 girls. I miss girls. I kind of want to do girls. I kind of want to have some sexy time with some girls. <laughs> but I don't know if you're, you date girls. And isn't it hard? Isn't it like difficult to get them to match with you on Tinder? It's like impossible. Like I get a match. We talk for a little bit. Flake, gone, whatever. Doesn't matter how cute you are. It seems like everyone struggles with this. Grinder, on the other hand, seems to work pretty well. I'll just say that. I guess it's like trans girls know how hard it is and, and all of that. And it's hard to find other trans girls. Um, so yeah, so I think my sexual, to kind of recap, I think my sexuality is changing. And it's interesting to think about how as you reach different levels of acceptance with yourself as you transition, how that can potentially change your sexuality, your sexual preferences. Um, hormones can change those too. And like, how that kind of relates to your experience in the bedroom. And also like having sex with a trans girl who's a top, that's also the other thing. It's like, yeah, just rub some of that tea on there and get going. It was fantastic. She, girls just make out great and they're so pretty and it's really nice, but it's kind of still like, oh shit, like she's got a dick and she's gonna, what, uh, oh my God, it's inside me. <laughs> And then, you know, you're, you're going at it. Um, yeah, I mean, like, I, I think trans, trans, like T for T is probably the hottest and maybe I'm biased because I'm trans, but I mean, it's kind of more straight for um, people to like to watch girls fuck each other than to watch guys fuck girls because it's like, you know, the guy having sex with the girls, like there's a dude in the picture. But if you have two girls doing each other, then... That seems a little hotter, doesn't it? I don't know where I'm going with this. It's getting late. I'm obviously tired. Um, join the trans club if you are trans or transitioning. Support me on Patreon. If you want to uh, buy my book, you can do that. Down below, there's links. And support me on Patreon. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe and say hello. I'd love to hear from you. I'll see you in another episode soon. Bye.